Hi, I'm Seng. So today I'll teach you how to use Genius Post to link with the kitchen display so that you can communicate with your chef wirelessly with your using the iPad without using the printer. Last but not least, this one is no internet needed. Thank you. Okay, first go to the App Store and then search Genius Post. And then download for the Genius Post kitchen display. Once you download, it will become this and then you need to do the pairing okay let's say this is the main and then this one is the kitchen display okay so go to the setting and then go to the kitchen display and then you set KDS okay the IP address you copy from here make sure both of the iPad is connected to the same Wi-Fi go to the setting okay 192.168.1.100 you copy and paste to the here and then you can see the post IP address one, this one this column both of it you copy from the main iPad, okay, go to the setting, go to the Wi-Fi, and then you click here. Okay, copy the IP address 192.168.1.107 and paste it to the kitchen display which is here. After that, go to the main iPad, open the Genius Post, and then you click Synchronize. Okay, it will show Synchronize complete, and then from the main iPad, just click test print and you can hear the sound from here okay, click save go to the category and select the category that you want to notify in the kitchen display so select to the category and click assign kitchen printer and you select kitchen display and then you save make sure the kitchen display is pair okay, it's here, it's pair already okay, and then next go to the setting okay, from here you can see it's you hear notified based on the sound or alarm. Okay, the warning means that how many seconds the warning will become the green, the orange, and red, which is the first warning, second warning, and the third warning. Okay, and then you can set like the order display name, and then you can set for the number of display sheet, and you want to bold the font or not. Okay, and then you click save. Okay, let's say you do an example. Go to the cash register. Let's say I order for the burger I add after that I click whole bill you shop back here after you for the chef after you finish the order just click here and then yes and it shows bump order bump already okay let's say for the new table I'll order for the burger and then the veggie burger okay after that I click whole bill you show three okay so for here if I finish one order I click bump order click tick and I click tick if you bump okay let's say all of the order you want to bump just click bump docket so all of the item will finish and then order it will show that order bump already okay other than that from here you can see the order summary it will show by the item order or by the category and you can show a close order you can see from here or you can click on the report you can show your job order how how long the time that for prepare the food you can email it you can print it out or you can see the job summary which is average time to prepare in minutes other than that in the main post you can select kitchen display bump order you show the list what have you finished everything shows on here or you can send on the kitchen messenger let's say next I select on the kitchen display I send you choose it here and click bump that's all for today thank you